In this video, we're gonna look at how to align the vise on a vertical mill. We wanna make sure that this fixed jaw, this is the fixed jaw, this is the movable jaw. The movable jaw has just a little bit of play in it, so we don't wanna to try to align it. We wanna align the fixed jaw. So what we do, we get on the inside of that jaw about halfway between the top and the top of the counterbore for the boat. And that's where we're gonna set our indicator. So what we wanna make sure we wanna do, and there's several indicators you can use. Uh, I just happened to pick that one. But you wanna make sure oh, the right side boat is tight. Left side, leave it a little loose. Take your fingers right inside and make sure it feels pretty even and that'll get you pretty close. So what we're gonna do, we're going to bring um, the Y-axis, the saddle, we're gonna bring it out until we're about to zero. So this is the table, it's the X-axis. The saddle down here is the Y-axis. So now we're just gonna move the table to the left and just see if it's zero, zero. Now I see that it's off. So what I typically, typically don't wanna do is try to think that if it's off 10, I can move it five and it'll be correct because it's pivoting back on this side, not in the center. Okay, so this boat is a little bit loose right here. You can see it moving. So what I do is as it's moving, I just give it a little tap. Okay, my goal is, is, is not to hit a specific number. My goal is to keep that indicator from moving. Okay, so each mark on there is a half thousandth. Usually you want to get it a half thousandth and six inches. So we'll move it back and see where we're at. And all I did was tap it a little bit here and there. Now if it bounces a little bit in the middle, it's not a big deal. We just want to start and end at the same spot. So let's set this back again on zero. And we're going to move it to the left. And as it's moving, I'm going to just gently tap it. My goal, like I said, my goal is not to hit a specific number. My goal is for that indicator not to move as it is going left and right. So now we'll move it to the right. We've got about a half thousand. We can, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll take that out of there. So we'll move it back. Also, we want to know which way it's tilted first. So if the indicator goes up on the right, that means that back jaw is like this. It's pushing the indicator to go clockwise. If the indicator goes down, we're tilted like this. So we need to know which direction. That's why I tapped on the left because I saw the indicator going up. It was pushing on this side. So I wanted to tap it to move it back in this direction. So let's bring the saddle out to zero, move it to the left. Now I went a little too far. And we'll see what we get right there. That looks pretty good. Now when it looks good, I will snug it back down. And you want to make sure you get these really tight. They're normally a 7 8 boat. So we'll move to the right and see what we get. We've got a little bit of bounce in the middle, but it's not a big deal. And we are uh, maybe a half foul, but a half foul and six inches, we're in good shape. All right, I'll set it up to show you how we can do it with a dial indicator as well. Set my indicator on zero, and now we'll just move it to the left. Now it's pretty close, it's off three thousandths. And that's just by putting it in and filling. Usually you can get 10, 15 thousandths. Um, you can get it pretty close like that. So you're just using your fingertips to line it up. So I'm within three thousandths. So my indicator went clockwise as I went to the right side. So that's telling me that that back jaw is like this. Because as I moved to this side, my indicator went clockwise over here. So I need to tap 
this side here, I'm gonna tap it back to the left so I can swing it this way. Remember, it's gonna pivot on this back screw. It's gonna pivot like that. So let me just tap it just gently on this side here. And my goal is not to hit a specific number. My goal is to keep variation out. Whatever it reads on the right, it needs to read on the left. So I'm at positive one. I see it's still moving just a little bit. So I'm gonna give it just a little bit of tap. Okay, now I'm gonna set it at zero. It looks like it's pretty close. So I set it on zero. I'll move it to the right. And it looks like it might be maybe about a half thousand soft. And if I get within a half thousandths on this distance here, uh, I'm in pretty good shape. So let me do it again. Let me give it a, a tap. I will knock it out. Whoa, we really knocked it out that time. So you can see it moving. It's out about 18,000, maybe 20,000. Okay, let me tilt this a little more so you can possibly see it better there. So we're gonna set it on zero and we're gonna slowly move it to the left. And as it's moving, I can just kind of tap it while it's moving. My goal is for that indicator not to move. I don't care what number it's pointing at. I just don't want it to move as it's going right and left. Okay, and it looks pretty good there. So let's set it on zero. We'll go back again. And that looks good. So really all we're doing is trying to make sure the indicator is zero here and zero here. That means that we're setting in line with the table. We're not this way, we're not this way, we're in a nice straight line. So once we do that, then we wanna tighten up this stud on this side and we get really tight. We're going to set this on zero again and just kind of see what we get. Sometimes when you tighten it down, it may want to draw it a little bit here or there. So that looks pretty good. I really don't see any movement. If we get it within a half thousandths, we're happy. And again, uh, whatever job we're doing, it determines the accuracy. Uh, if we're doing something with a series of boat hose or a slot, and the, 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 the location of those hose has to be within a couple tenths, we may want to try to get it a little closer. Okay, so that's how we align a vice on the vertical mill.